Good morning and welcome. My name is Sussex Sandra and welcome to my channel. So this morning I thought I would do finally um, a product review. Well, first impressions review. It's not really a first impression actually. It's a product that I have tried before. Sandra, stop rambling. Good morning and welcome my name is Sussex Sandra and welcome to my channel so this morning I'm going to be doing a makeup product review stroke first impression basically it's another product I purchased from QVC you know me and QVC right so for those of you who have come into my channel for the first time hello and welcome if you want to know the kind of things I do on my channel I tend to do product reviews first impressions i specialize in products to see if they suit deeper skin dark skins obviously but i'm also looking at products that are suitable for people with oily skin i do loads of unboxings of subscription boxes that are available in the uk and i do get one from america as well which i unbox on my channel and i've just started i'm experimenting now with doing vlogs as well so if you're interested in looking to see how i get along with these kind of um, videos then go ahead subscribe to this channel and press that little bell next to it because then you won't miss any notifications that are coming up so the product i'm doing today is from qvc it was a today's special value a tsv that occurred last weekend and it was from it cosmetics now i have done an it cosmetics um, review of products before this one was is this time though it was a today's special value so i thought let me just try and do this one and see what we get in the box and see if it's good value or not the reason why i purchased it is because i know that if i don't get along with the products then I can just send it back. The good thing with QVC is, is that you can send the products back if you're not happy with it, as long as you send it back within 30 days, and then you will get a refund of your money. You won't get a refund of the postage and packaging, and you will be paying postage and packaging twice because you're paying for it to come to you, and then you're obviously you're paying to send it back, but you get a, a refund of the product in itself. <coughs> So the TSV um, came in a box like this, which was actually, um, I was actually quite surprised when it came actually, because usually today's special values, they normally come, um, especially makeup collections, they normally come well packaged and usually like a gift box of some sort. So it makes it easy if you want to gift it to somebody as well. And particularly at this time of year, a lot of the products that are out at the moment are mainly made and being packaged in a way that you can give them to people this wasn't so it came like this you had a little gift bag like this and then that was how the products were put in there really so it literally looked like the products were just almost dumped in the box and it's like yeah we'll make this a little collection for a giveaway which you know it's, it's it's nothing wrong with that i was just surprised especially at this time of year when things are packaged a little bit better so what came in the box is this little gift bag so it's called an it's girl um gift bag so you've got this All right. take it out which yeah, it's okay it's nothing special if i compare it to the one we got from benefit in that gift collection the other week i mean that was a really nice gift bag so this is what they say it's one of those um we got the main product is the cc cream so the CC cream is available, I think it's in six shades in the UK. I think there's seven shades available, I'm not quite sure. I think it's fair, light, medium, medium tan, tan, rich and deep. So is that six shades? So I've got it in the darkest shade they have available, which is deep. And I can just about get away with the deep because I have got one of these already. Um, the other product which I was interested in was the finishing powder because I've heard a lot about this airbrush finishing powder so I really wanted to try this out so I'll just take it out of the box and show it to you so it's called the bye bye pores pressed powder translucent what's it called it's called the bye bye pores um, illumination radiant translucent pressed powder and it looks like this so it's got, it's got a mirror on top and it's like that and this does feel very silky and smooth and it's got a little powder um, sponge underneath so that's the other thing I was interested in in this collection then they had a mascara which they call tight line mascara um, and they're basically saying once you use this mascara you don't need to wear an eyeliner we shall see so um, 
It's actually, it look, actually looks quite small. I don't, I don't know. This looks quite small to me, but it's supposed to be um, a, a nice mascara. So it's just called an It's Tight Line Mascara. Let me see how much this is. So this is, so they call it a 3 in 1 Black Primer Eyeliner Mascara. Um, what's the weight of it? So it is 3.5 mils. Aren't mascaras normally about 7 mils? I think they're about 7 mils, aren't they? So it does seem like a smaller mascara than normal. So that's the mascara that came in the collection. Then this brush, this brush um, is a surprise. I didn't realise it was so small. I mean, this is actually quite a pathetic looking brush, to be honest. Um, let's have a look and see what the quality is like. Well, I mean, it's a decent quality brush, but it literally is something for travel, I suppose. Or maybe it's for applying the powder. I mean, they're saying it's a kabuki brush, so I suppose you're supposed to be able to apply the, the foundation CC cream with it, but it is so small. Um, I'm not sure what I think about that, to be honest. And then the final product in the collection was this lipstick. I think they called it a lip treatment, so it was called the It Je Ne Sais Quoi Hydrating Colour Awakening Lip Treatment. It looks like that. And on the presentation, on everybody's skin tone, so from fair to deep, it gave a gentle um, pink colour. So I thought, okay, oh, that doesn't look like something that's going to give a pink colour. Oh, how is that going to give a pink colour? Because the girl they had who was deep skin tone, it looked even pink on her. So let me just put that on my hand. There is no colour to that whatsoever. That just feels like a... Um, just a lip balm there is no color to that at all okay all right I better make sure I've got a, a lipstick as a backup then because it might look different when I put it on my lips right let's put some of these products on I'm not going to put the CC I'm not going to use the CC cream in this because I've actually got one already as I said this is one from um, a previous collection I bought so I'll just use this one again and I'll put this one back in reserve because I've just going by what I've just seen so far I've got a feeling this one might be going back so let's put these products on shall we so let's see I have already moisturized my skin but I haven't put a primer on so let me do my primer the thing is with the CC cream it's a very good product I would say for people who've got dry skin normal skin and even maybe up to combination skin um, it does give a decent coverage so I'd say it gives medium to full coverage um, it's not product that I would recommend for oily skin but because it's got so many good benefits to it I would say it's a product that's worth trying out so I'm going to do my double priming today just to make sure I protect my skin and sort of do my usual oily skin hacks. The first primer I'm going to put on is my Illamasqua Matte Veil. I haven't got much left of this so I'm going to put this one all over my face. So you can see there's not much left in that but I have got one on order which I ordered in the Black Friday sales that was going on. So let's put some of this on. This in itself is a very good primer, but because I am putting on a product that is actually quite hydrating and moisturizing, I am going to do my double prime. So I'm going to put my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Prime in those key areas. I'm going to do my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. Um, I also ordered one of these in the sales. I was looking desperately, trying to find one on a good discount for the Black Friday. And it was really annoying because in America, BeccaCosmetics.com were giving 50% off their primers. I managed to get 20% off, so that's, that's enough. But 50% would have been better because normally this is £28 by itself for this size. You can get a smaller size for £14, I think it is, um, or £15. But I like to buy this big one because this will last two years easily, easily. Precision, I use it nearly every day. Now, when I did the IT Cosmetics last time, I did use their Heavenly brush. This brush is actually, it's a really nice brush from IT Cosmetics. Cost £34, I think. They're selling it for by itself. Um, but again, I got it in a collection from QVC the last time I bought my product because there was a big discount going on. So I think I got this and this for... I think that was about £40 for the two, so it was nearly the price of this brush. So it was a very good combi combination price. So let's, I'm going to put this on now, and I'm wearing the shade Deep. 
So you can see it comes with a pump like that. So you can probably see there that it's given a fairly natural coverage and that's one pump. So I'm going to put another pump on now and then we'll, we'll go from there. That's one layer on my face. Let me just let that dry down and I'll read to you about the products online. So the collection, when I bought it, the QVC Today Special Value, the price was £42.96 plus postage and packaging, so it worked out to about £45. It's now selling for £70 um, plus postage and packaging, which is £3.95. The shades they've got available now, they've still got deep available. Um, fair is sold out they have light they have medium medium tan they have rich and they have tan so the only shade they've sold out of is fair um, what do they say about the product so they say this five piece your most beautiful glow collection from IT cosmetics features your skin but better CC plus cream with SPF 50 uh, bye bye pores illuminating powder tight line 3-in-1 black primer eyeliner and a mascara genesequa lip treatment and an airbrush essential brush for perfect application it's incredibly quick and easy to achieve a sophisticated look with these makeup must-haves naturally gorgeous kick off your glowing look with the your skin but better cc cream offering medium buildable coverage with a hydrating boost so you can feel confident in your skin while still getting great sun protection coverage thanks to the spf 50 formula then all you need for the day, after you've perfected the look of your skin with a CC Plus cream, sweep on some Bye Bye Pores Illuminating Powder to set and enhance the formula. Then complete the look by making sure your eyes and lips pop with a quick slick off tight line 3 in 1 mascara and your je ne sais quoi lip treatment. Right, so shall we do that then? Let's put the powder on. So this is the powder. I will put on screen how much this powder sells by itself if, you, if it's just the powder you're interested in. So let's put this on. So it has a little mirror, so that's good. And I'm going to use this to... Yeah, don't want to do that. Right, yeah, that little brush was no good. So I'm just going to use a proper powder brush and just apply this powder on. Hopefully it's completely translucent. They said it is. covering of the powder on my face to take away some of the shine and it has it has dulled down my face quite a bit so it's lost quite a bit of the warmth but my natural oils will come through and change that so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to put some bronzer on do my eyebrows put some eyeshadow on and then I'll get onto the mascara and the rest of the products okay all right so I've just done base I mean literally a very basic look today I've just used my brow did is I've just done my brows so using my benefit goose proof brow pencil and the pixie um, setting thing for the eyebrows um, I use the covergirl queen ebony bronzer all around my face just to add some warmth I use the same ebony bronzer just as an eyeshadow again keeping it very simple I use the sleep collection which I purchased the other day um, I use the blush um, again too heavy handed on the blush and I use the highlighter just on my cheeks there as well so I'm now going to use the the IT the it cosmetics 3 in 1 tight line mascara and see how I get oh 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 got it upside down so um, that's a very unusual wand okay let's see how this works I've never used anything like this before so let's try this out gosh never used anything like this before 
and they're saying it's supposed to give you the effect of an eyeliner as well this feels very weird okay yes i i can see that it's a very natural looking mascara look and um, if you compare that to the other eye yeah okay it does what it says what's good is that it's small enough to do in the bottom lashes because i've got no eyelashes down here whatsoever so i can access these quite easily with this okay all right so that's how it looks yeah okay let me do the other eye okay so that's the eyes done very very natural look i must say but that's all right it's just a work day so that's all good all right let's go with this lip balm thing now so this is the final thing in the collection so it was it was called the je ne sais quoi hydrating color awakening lip treatment so as i said on the presentation on qvc on all of the girls all on the women they put the product on it gave a very pinky color so obviously on the fair and light complexions it looked a very pink color and on the deep skin girl it just gave a hint of a pink color so i can't see how this is going to give any color at all but let's give it a go and see what happens okay can you see a change in color there i can't i'm looking through the the camera lens here i can't see any change in color there at all it just feels like a very nourishing almost quite thick lip balm i mean it's moisturizing and it does it just feels like a very moisturizing lip balm no flavor no taste but um yeah as a lip calm as a lip color and they do describe it as a lip color let me read that again it does say hydrating color awakening lip treatment is there a color i mean i've got a lip liner on so me just rubbing my lips like that has probably given it a little bit of color but to be honest there isn't much color there at all so there you go that's the overall look so i'm a little bit shiny now um that's the overall look of the collection from qvc i think if you want to do a very quick look fine um if you haven't got any other products in your collection like this then fine this is a perfect collection for that it is a very comfortable wearing cc cream it is a good cc cream i'm not knocking the cc cream at all because as i've said i've got one already um but as a collection for me personally no i'm sending this back the face powder is okay i haven't got a problem with the face powder but it hasn't kept back my oils very long i mean it's only been what say 10 minutes and i can already see my oils breaking through on my face um the cc cream as i said i've got that already the mascara um it's a nice little mascara but it is very little it's not even a, what i'd call a decent full size one and um if, if i want a natural look i can do this with any of my other mascaras as well so i don't really need that the lip color yes it's just to me it's just a lip balm and i got plenty of lip treatments and i tend to always put lip treatments on first and then i put my mattifying lip colors and things all over it on top of it anyway so i don't think i need this and i always say if there's five things in the collection i want to be able to keep three of the things and in this collection the only thing i would seriously keep is probably the cc cream but i've got one already so i'm sending this collection back so sorry this is a this is a no-no for me this collection especially at 42 pounds plus the purchasing packaging call it 45 pounds no this one's going back i'm afraid but hey at least i've got the opportunity to try it out but tell me what you think if you got this collection tell me what you think and just the whole it cosmetics thing all together but this one it's a nah which is a shame because that last one the last one i did which is laura geller one that was a really good one but then that's how it goes with these things the last it cosmetics collection i did i, I gave it a thumbs up I, I liked it and i kept it but this one yeah it's, it's definitely going back so i expect my refunds in the next week or so all right 
I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please don't forget to give me a like down below. And if you haven't done so already, what are you waiting for? All you need to do is press that subscribe button and whilst you're at it, press the little bell next to it and then that will notify you when I do my next upload. And before I go, just to remind you, because I am going to be picking my winner at the end, I think probably very soon, I've got a 1500, um, 1500 subscriber giveaway going at the moment. And it's not international, it's UK only, literally because of the weight of the box. So the giveaway is on my QVC Tilly boxing to, um, video, which was about two weeks ago, probably. And I've got a couple of questions on that video for you to answer, to enter. But obviously the main two things you need to do is one, subscribe subscribe to my channel to follow me on Instagram and then follow the, the request I ask you to do on that one okay so that's it thank you very much for watching I will see you soon take care bye